Well, hello everybody. Um, it's Steffi here from The Makers and I think um, there's a fair few of you already um, gathered around and uh, waiting in anticipation of all these lovely goodies that I've got here. In fact, I'm going to bring that camera down a bit because um, um, there, you can see much more. Have you, have any of you noticed anything? How did I manage that? Get dressed like a wire wrapper today. That's like completely unintentional. And um, when I did my little Facebook um, announcement earlier, I suddenly thought, oh, it's it's obviously the blue white theme. Admittedly, I don't have yellow in my dress, but I can just smile and you can see my yellow teeth with it. No, where did that come from? Okay, let's have a look who is here because today is all about uh, wires and different types of wires that um, we as the makers use and stock and remember we never um, sell anything that we don't use and love ourselves so um, we wouldn't ever um, sell you anything that we think is not up to the standard of our needle felting or our wire armature making or whatever else um, there's lots I can talk about so we've got Carol here hi Carol hi Donna um, Emma is here today as the makers of course we've got Diane here and Jane um, You've all been chatting already. Helen is there. Hi, Helen. I love your uh, boxes and your little creatures inside them. So you were the lucky winner of our competition on the last live stream. Um, hi, Laura. Um, Deb. Deb. There is a Deb here, but I don't know which Deb it is. But it's Deb13292. Hello, Deb13292. Um, there are, is Roger. Hi, Roger. Um, in fact, it's Jackie. Yeah, she's hiding behind her husband's uh, name. Um, and who else have we got here? Oh, Alicia is there. Hi, Alicia. I hope you're having a better time on your holiday now with less rain. I think it's it's less here, so hopefully it's less where you are. Um, now, Bridget is there. And I think, Bridget, we need to be, really keep you awake. So I'm going to be trying to be as, um, I don't know, as upbeat as possible and as interesting as possible. Um, Teresa is there. Hi, Mario Line. Um, Marga, 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 something rose. Um, she's actually been looking forward to watching this. Thank you. So I won't, I won't um, um, hang about with too much niceties. But Rachel is there, and um, Vali is there, and Sandra is there and um deborah ah there we are so deb one three two nine two is deborah but i won't mention any surnames here so um karen is there and let's start okay oh, such an exciting subject wire i know <laughs> how can you be excited about wire well it's just one of those things that um um you see it and then you think oh, what can i make with it or sometimes you've got an idea and you want to make something and you think oh I'm never going to be able to needle felt this really, really tight enough because I want to go big. So how can I make it big with the help of wire? And I first came across wire actually when um, we were writing our uh, book, Making Needle Felted Animals, where I started out doing wire armatures um, for animals in here. And in fact, um, if you've not seen it, there's the unicorn in there that has got a wire armature frame and that's made from pipe cleaners there. And um, and then there's also an alpaca in there. And then more to the point, the chicken that's featured at the front, her legs are made with a pipe cleaner legs. Now, this leads me straight away um, to an exciting an announcement that next month's newsletter free uh, tutorial is on making wire bird legs. So um, then you can make them small, big, whichever size. And there are lots of... Um, interesting bits i can say about that too but we because it's next month's newsletter so that would be september we've made it available a little bit earlier so you can already see it as a free tutorial on our website remember it's www.themakers with two s's and then .co.uk in fact it's here as well it's hiding there it is hiding away from this basket there okay so Let's start, oh my goodness, where do I start with? Let's start with the thinnest wire. How about this? So the thinnest wires has to be the wire we've used to make these hands. Now there are three different size wires in this set of hands. We, um, we have a, a, a hand pack. 
So if you want to make hands, there's an instruction sheet in there. And with it, you get the wire that you need, which um, it, it's hiding. It's there. It's right inside there. A long, um, so you get packs. They look like that. And you get the different sizes to go with that. And then you also get the beeswax balm. And I will tell you more about this. And then you get different color um, to make little hands because especially when you're making animals or maybe you're making people it's not just always pink that we need so you have different color um, to choose here um, to make the little hands so that's a hand pack that we sell already on our website that's ready to buy and uh, the smallest wire here is what I've just shown you which is um, I've got them here as well don't need to reach across there so we have got and if you if you don't know but wire is measured in a number that um, the smaller the wire the thinner the wire so if you've got a, a really really thin it's like the felting needles the thinner the wire the higher the number so for example with felting needles you'll know that a 42 is a really thin felting needle a 40 is a fine um, um, a fine um, felting needle then a 38 is a medium and a 36 is a coarse so if you look at 32 that's a pretty thin wire it really is thin it's it's as thin as um well it's like it's almost like a horse hair um it's that it's it's really really thin but it works great for um, very delicate little fingers and then the next size up is a 26 so that um looks a little bit thicker and um i should really use them out of this pack here because that's why i've got it here so you can see them for real let's get them out these are paper covered they are um, and they're paper covered so this is the thinnest this is the um, this is the 32 yeah that's right 32 really thin easy to bend it's it's not much thicker than a um, than a thick thread or something like that and then we've got the um, 26 there we go and the 26 is a little bit thicker quite easy to bend but you can feel a little bit more resistance there yet and then finally we've got our 32 and the 32 you might remember from the harvest mouse because that is what is used in the harvest mouse um, all all across the body and that um, is also what the tail is made of so it's a great wire if you need to bend a small animal in into shape um, you can use it for wire armature but it is quite thin but fairly pliable and really great to use. And these are paper covered. Now, if you have a wire that's paper, that's covered either with um, with paper or with um, like a pipe cleaner with chenille, or we also have some cotton covered uh, um, wire, then that makes it really easy to wrap the wool around it because there is some resistance and it's not just a slippery, slipper, slippery wire where the wool will just slip around like it doesn't know where to stick to. So that's why we have covered wires in principle, because they're much easier to um, to wrap the wool around. However, there are lots of other ways of making the wool stick to the wire if you um, if you need to. So that was the thinnest wire. If anybody's got any questions, fire away. I will keep checking into um, the live stream. I'll just have a quick look there now. Um, <laughs> Alicia says. A man must have come up with that sizing method. <laughs> yes, the thinner, the higher the number. Yeah, it must have been a man, absolutely. Um, I have to almost like think about it twice. Yes, it, it intuitively it would be the other way around, but this is how the wire gauge works. So the higher the number, the thinner the wire. Um, so, oh, Mary's made it. Um, Claire is from Kent, just going back here. Alicia says, I'm finishing my giant pumpkin while I watch, just finish the squirrels. Actually, the squirrels is a really good example of using um, the right wire as well. So I've got brought lots and lots of um, different um, examples with me and kits. And I'm so overwhelmed with, with everything that's here. I, I don't actually know where to begin. But I started at the smallest wire and I just repeated. That's really great to make the little hands or tiny little. Um, if you if you don't want to make like human hands, you can make little paws. Um, that's what these are for really great to use for that so um, smallest wire covered if you get a promotion code from us often it is for the cotton um, it's for the um, 
paper covered wire a lot of people could get confused and think it's for the co cotton covered wire it's the paper covered wire that you often get a promotion code if you order from us lots because we reward loyal customers so that that might be something that you um you are getting and then you know that it's um one of these so the next um sort of pliable wire um is probably our pipe cleaner and um, we've got our extra strong pipe cleaner here which um the reason why we call this extra strong and i will be really explicit about this is probably one of the most wires that we use it's one of the most popular ones because it has got a real sort of um, resistance to it so when you bend it and when you hold it if you've got a, a plain craft pipe cleaner and you hold it they usually just sort of like go down this one has got a strong hold in it so um, if i'm holding it on one side it doesn't just sort of flop down like i don't know like i've got several images in my head but i'm not going to share them so um it's it's quite a strong straight wire when we say extra strong we don't mean that you can't break it it's really easy to break it so this is not the wire to use if you're constantly bending um legs and arms or if you're having to bend it to make anything and i will prove this to you so if you've got the extra strong wire you don't even need wire cutters or in my case scissors to cut it because i'm naughty and i use scissors to cut um, pipe cleaners you can just bend it a few times and the wire will actually break it's, it's broken it's just attached now to the um the wool and not the wool the chenille cotton cover it's actually not chenille it's a cotton it's a cotton fluffy cover these are the closest to what you would have used to clean your pipe if you had a pipe and if ever you had to clean one these are the proper pipe cleaners right that um you would go and buy from your tobacconists and um and and clean your pipe so there was not much be much bending needed to be done which is why it's a strong um steel in there but it's not one that will last forever if you keep jiggling it back and forth jiggling it back and forth we have actually sort of almost put a disclaimer on our website to that effect because people said oh you say they're extra strong but they do break yes they do break but they are still really strong in comparison to any other pipe cleaner that uh, is just a normal craft pipe cleaner in that vein um so these pipe cleaners we have used for um all the fairies that you get in your um subscription box it's actually in our sloth subscription box um this month mistaken um yes it is because it's the colored pipe cleaner so sometimes what works really well is if you don't need to cover all of it but you can leave little bits exposed like for example with the mice then um, we use the pipe cleaner because it's a nice strong pipe cleaner and um, you can leave bits exposed so that you don't have to cover them with wool because they look great that way so so um, pipe cleaners we are still. I will cover all of those, um, all of these wires. You can. What you will also find is, as I'm going along with all of these wires, um, we do have some wires that are really hard to bend, and there are some wires that are much easier to bend. In principle, just uh, just like a broad um, brush statement, if you have a steel wire, it's always harder to bend than, for example, a copper or an aluminium wire. The aluminium wire without a shadow of a doubt is easier to bend but it can still be really really strong but i will come to that i'm working my way through the wire thickness and how what they're used for and how we've used them so coming back to the pipe cleaners you might remember our i just need to get up and get that box a bit closer because ah, it's not enough space with all these big animals that are brought to have them all here on show you might um i showed you the dormouse earlier if you if you don't know it but this is what we use that really thin well not the really thin but the third size of the paper covered wire for then um next one um that i was talking to you about just to give you an example the curled up badger has got a extra strong pipe cleaner the white one in there and talking about pipe cleaner still all of the figures in there um, use the um, extra strong pipe cleaner so if you want to make the nativity the sheep are actually completely wire free but the donkey mary and joseph and the angel have got um, the pipe cleaners the extra strong pipe cleaners in there 
So coming, moving on, talking about exposed pipe cleaner. If you have ever done our little door mice, you can see that the tails are exposed because we have these extra fluffy pipe cleaners and they, um, the, the, the color and the fluffiness of the tail is perfect to have these little exposed tails on the door mice. So that's just another example. You might be thinking now, oh, I've got this color or I could be using it for that or the other. So this is uh, why I'm mentioning it. And of course, we use the pink for the mice that I've showed you. So you can, um, that I've shown you, so you can have the little hands exposed. We used to do a tree color mice pack and then you could use different color hands for different types of mice. So maybe a town mouse, maybe a field mouse, and then maybe a white posh mouse or something like that. A white lap mouse, something like that. Um, so these are the pipe cleaners covered. We've also got black. They're great for spiders. Remember, there's a spider tutorial coming up on our um, live stream, which is this week, actually on Thursday. So the black ones work great for that, but don't worry, you can use any old pipe cleaner for that. So if I don't know how the quality is here today, I know that when you're watching this later on, um, the it's usually better. I'm just checking how how the um, so from my end, it says I've got a really good um, upload speed. So I shouldn't be sitting there and um, pulling funny faces, hopefully. But let me know if um, if you guys are um, having having um, trouble watching this. I'm just looking at the comments now. So um, um, what else? Where am I? Afternoon, everyone. Didn't realize the time. Oh, Serena. Yeah, what? That's what. That's what happens when you've got four children. You have no idea sometimes what time of the day it is. So I know the feeling very well. And mine are much older now, but um, I do remember it from there. Right. Um, so, oh, Donna says it's buffering. Okay. I hope. I hope the quality is 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 okay because it does say I'm okay at my end. But um, let's just double check. Yeah, it still says I'm I'm good at my end. Um, uh, oh, so, oh, the buffering has stopped now. Excellent. So Mo says I use colored wire like purple and it's great to make it look like shoes and gloves etc great idea i love that idea i know mo you've had a bit of a tough time i hope you're feeling better today um jackie says oh i'm back no wi-fi so i hope i can watch it okay so now we've got jackie instead of roger um we've had jackie all along but it says so now um so let's see I, do you know, Diane, I don't like spiders either. I, I really, really, it's one of the things that I have worked on and worked on and worked on. And I just come to the conclusion, I just don't like them. So what? Okay, could be worse. Um, and I, if, if a few years ago, if somebody had put, I hated Halloween for that reason, if somebody put all these big spiders in the window, I would have literally gone into a shop and would have had a go at them and saying, don't you realize that not everybody likes spiders and this could actually be quite traumatic for somebody like me. And um, so this is a big step for me to make these spiders and even just glancing them out of the corner of my eye and I know exactly where they are in the room. I, um, I have to sort of <gasps> deep breath. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not real. So I'm with you on this one um, entirely. Um, ah, okay. Yes, I know that feeling, um, Bridget. Teens are hogging the Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, tell them to get off and go on for a walk. Mind you, I don't know. You're probably at some um, some late time somewhere because I think Bridget, you're in. Are you in Australia? Am I getting this right? I'm not entirely sure. Right. Uh, okay. So I think we're all on board. Let's move on about a uh, wire. So one thing I will say straight away because I have worked with wire on really really large animals um, you all probably have met um, um, Brian the goose and Reese the fleece and Brian the goose and Reese the fleece have been made with none of this wire because you need such thick wire and I what I have used there and you can look this up on our website we have actually got a blog if you just type into um, into the search bar on the top of the website just put in Brian spelt with an I um, and then if you want to know about Reese the Fleece, um, I, oh, I'm not actually sure if there's a blog, but there's definitely one for, for um, Brian the Goose. And I will bring him out of his box now. He's been very well behaved. He's here. 
and Brian the Goose is made with none of the wire that we sell because this wire has to be so strong it's actually you know that green garden wire that you um, uh, make fences with it's like this really thick plastic covered wire that's inside him and that's absolutely perfect because he's rock solid he is posable so you can bend his um, neck but it, it it doesn't flop at any point I thought I could use our strong steel wire and triple it up like literally the steel the strongest wire that we do the steel wire and I was making the flamingo with it and look I told you she's a crazy bird she can't hold her head up and um, she's permanently um, on gin and her legs are just as bad they're just completely all over the place and that is using the um, using our really strong steel wire so I'm going right to the opposite end of, of wire now I just want to set an expectation that if you are thinking that you can use this this really strong steel wire that's literally impossible to bend with your fingers even a single layer would have would have not worked for this because um, she's got a very floppy head and I've tripled this up this wire so just to set an expectation however sometimes you want it to be floppy so if you look at um, this little gnome or not so little his legs are um, pipe cleaner legs and I've I've literally just sort of um, extended the pipe cleaner by going round it a few times and I really love it that that he's he's all happy and floppy look he's like waving his arms around and um, you can make little hands and the hands are strong enough to hold something so you can bend them into place and you can hold his hand and be by his side so sometimes it actually works quite nicely to have these floppy floppy legs that you can still bend but they're not you know they I, I can bend them into uh, a knee joint and I can make them straight but in general they're quite floppy and pliable and that's just using um, pipe cleaner that I've doubled up by wrapping it around itself um, I should also say that Brian the Goose on his feet it's also wire and there's another way of how you can stop the wool from slipping around and a lot of people do that they actually use pipe cleaner wrap it around the wire as long as you want it to be nice and thick you can wrap the pipe cleaner around the bare wire and then wrap the wool around that you've already built built bulk up and you've got something to stop the wool from slipping around so that is something that a lot of people that method a lot of people are using so let's look at these reels here that I'm wearing today basically and um, we have got the if you ever get to see these reels there are two types of wire that come on this reel one is copper and one is aluminium the best way how we can take tell ours apart is that the copper one is always covered in cotton so we um, if you see the the the, um, the wire types here they come in three different sizes but they're on the same reel as the aluminium one but the aluminium is bare and the copper one is covered as I said earlier in terms of pliability and strength you'd go from a, um, a steel wire as the hardest to um, as the most solid to a copper one as the second solid and the third one an aluminium um, that is the easiest to bend but it makes a really strong um, a strong finish as well the disadvantage of steel is that um, if it gets wet it rusts so just bear that in mind as well whereas copper and aluminium don't have that problem there may be a discoloration of um, of the copper but the worst thing is with rust that also weakens the wire whereas um, copper obviously just discolorates but it doesn't weaken the wire but if you have a steel inside and that um, is the same as in our pipe cleaners that's also steel in there then and it gets wet and you suddenly see the rust coming out is um, that also weakens your wire because as everybody knows rust eventually eats the eats the steel away so um, just as a side note okay let's um, go on to aluminium so the aluminium is super pliable we've got it all here I'm just gonna get the open reels out so I don't have to tuck into a new one so we have got um, for the aluminium we've got the one millimeter we've got the 1.5 millimeter and we have got the 1.6 millimeter that's the beginning there great and the two millimeter nice and thick 
I think Emma will be posting the links of all those wires into the chat. I should also say right now that we have got a, an amazing offer for you. If you need to try all of the wires that we do, all the ones that I've spoken about with the exception of the pipe cleaners, you can get, um, can you see this all right? It's a wire sample pack and you get a good length of all the wires in there that we offer. Um, and, and they are really great for just trying it out. So you can bend them, you can um, have a little play with it. All of the wires that I've, with the pipe cleaners that I've shown you, you could cut with scissors. When you get to aluminium, you can still cut it with scissors, but your scissors probably definitely won't like it. So the best thing is to have some um, pliers. I have got these heavy uh, duty um, pliers here, mostly for the steel wire, which I haven't got to yet. But if you have got more of a craft wire cutter, something like that, or you know the ones that have the round end, then you should be able to cut all of these wires. So this is the this is the um, thinnest aluminium, really easy to bend, no problem at all. Um, it's quite nice actually. It feels really really tactile. This this sort of aluminium wire. Um, you can cut it quite easily with your um, pipe, um, wire cutters. Let's just do the scissor test. Oh dear. Okay. Don't look if you hate that. Oh, easy. Yeah. It's like, it's really easy to cut. It's quite fun, actually. I think the thing about um, the aluminium is that when you bend it, it stays like that. Okay. So it's like, um, it's very obliging. You just bend it and it stays in exactly that position. So this one is the one point, um, this is the one millimeter one. So it's um, it, with this, for some strange reason, um, they've put the millimeters there, but they've also put the wire gauge there. So that's a wire gauge 18 with a lot of these wires for some, another bizarre reason, they only tell you the weight of them. 167 grams because that's really useful if you know you need x amount of meters of wire right you do need to know how many grams it is fear not if you go to our website we have actually put the meterage on there because we've um we found out what the meters are which is so much more useful than the grams because who gives the um whatever if if there's 167 grams i want to know how many meters is on the reel right well you can find out because it's on our website so that was the one millimeter this was one is the 1.25 it looks quite um a lot bigger actually even though it's literally just 0.25 millimeter thicker let's do the uh, let's do the test with the scissors first still quite easy yeah i have to stop that from flicking in my tea and um, of course you can cut it with the wire cutters. If you can cut it with the scissors, you can cut it with the wire cutters. So that is um, the, the um, aluminium one. And then we're going up to the next one, which is hiding here, the 1.6. Again, easy to bend, really easy to bend. I, I, I have got strong fingers, but I will, I promise you, this is really easy to bend. So the aluminium one is probably one that's really quite strong but easy um, to bend with your fingers where you don't need um, um, pliers to bend them. Let's do the test with the scissors. Still quite easy to cut with um, scissors. Oh, I think that actually did end up in my cup. And um, of course with uh, uh, wire cutters as well. And then let's go to the thickest that we do, which is the two millimeter one, which again is easy to bend and it stays in that position and bend it again, unbend it. These wire, this wire, I'm just gonna do, um, I'm just gonna see if I can actually manage to break it. Because a pipe cleaner now would have given in. But this one, ah, there it goes now. So I would say it takes twice as long to uh, bend the two millimeter um, aluminum wire compared to the pipe cleaner. So you can, there is a flexibility of going, of, of being pliable with it but don't overdo it because eventually it will give but even a small piece like this I can bend quite easily in my hand and um, and put straight again as well so it is it is a very soft metal aluminium as, as you probably all know I'm gonna work a little bit with this aluminium wire partially because I we know somebody who loves this aluminium wire and that is Jill Hatton and I did ask her to, um, if I could mention her name and she's never come back so I'm mentioning her anyway Jill Hatton has um, has been our I don't know our maker's friend for many years now 
and she started out making these amazing creatures i think she calls them cotswold cotswold creatures or Cots cotswold creations i'm not entirely sure but she doesn't live very far away from us and she uses oh let's use one that hasn't got let's see if um this one has got less accessories so i don't have to worry about a necklace so she uses um on her creatures she uses the aluminium wire and and uh, she makes all kinds of um of of animals dogs um cats so it is a really it is a great one that you can use to bend but remember don't continuously bend it because it will break eventually as as i've just shown you with um with the aluminium that i've been bending back and forth she's even put it in the ears so you can bend the ears and what she does is she uses florist tape i've, I've used that as well um myself but she uses florist tape to prepare the wire and wrap it around it and please let me have florist tape here now is that the one thing i've forgotten to bring down of course i have you can wrap florist tape around a bare wire and then add um your wool over the top because the nature of florist tape and i don't know if um emma if you um could tell somebody to bring me some florist tape down i'm pretty certain i brought it down no, no just wait let me just have a look because i'm sure i brought it down but it might be hidden somewhere else uh, no it's not okay i don't know if it's here i can't find it so emma maybe somebody could bring me some florist tape down um, and I'll show you how to um, wrap this on there. Now, if you um, haven't got florist tape and you don't want to get it either, then remember we do our uh, beeswax balm. We do this either in a little tin like this, where you can scrape it out with your fingernail like that. And then you just rub it in your hands and you cover the wire with this. And then when you need to wrap it with wool, you can wrap it quite easily it smells really nice because it's got beeswax and lavender in it so if you've got a very naughty wool that doesn't want to stick easily let's just use a wool top because that would otherwise just flop around so this is the end that's covered with the beeswax balm this is the end that isn't and if you want to make um let's start with a little thin strip because that's easier to show um you you could it it sort of it can just slip around and around it's not even wanting to stay um, on there because there's nothing to grip into so you can can you see that it just it just doesn't want to stay every time I let I, I think it's fastened in it sort of unwinds itself if you use the side now with that you've used the beeswax balm on come on in I don't even have to do much it just grips straight into it oh thank you very much thank you um it just grips straight in and I don't have to do very much at all so that beeswax balm is a perfect preparation for your um, bare wire where it um, the wool just doesn't it, in fact it, it you know it, it stays so look how how much it stays on there even to a, a point of tearing so that's how uh, the beeswax balm can really aid you in wrapping wool around a wire and um we've made it smell nice and it 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 is really there's there are no harmful substance some substances in there for your skin if you do have um any severe skin problems then get in touch with us and we tell you what is in there what we do know is it, it um don't oh, definitely don't eat it um so it's not for any cosmetic purposes or or um even if you like the smell so much don't it's not for eating okay so don't do that so um, that basically is um, to give you an idea of what the beeswax balm works um, for when you need to prepare your um, wire. Uh, we do it in this light color. It's the it's the most um, common um, color that you might use. This leads me on to um, oh I've got some florist tape now. So I'm going to open one of these. Let's use some of that. These are made in the UK, by the way, this florist tape. It's a really good quality florist tape. Um, it comes in three different colors, in brown, yellow, and um, that beige. I was absolutely thrilled when we found the beige um, florist tape. Nobody nobody thinks, why would you want fl um, brown florist tape? 
well of course we'd want it because it, it's great for bird feed um especially chicken legs um where's my chicken gone oh she's somewhere she's hiding somewhere else as well but florist tape if you if you know how florist tape works it's it's non-stick until you um stretch it so as soon as you start stretching it um it becomes sticky so if you want to prepare your wire with a florist tape you just start wrapping it on there and then um get get a get a grip <laughs> and then just stretch it and wind it round and it will sort of adhere to itself as you're going along and it makes a really nice and sticky base for your wool to grip into and i know that jill loves using this um as a as a base for her wire to um to grip the wool easily and i'm just going to use that same yellow wool top because that's a nice slippery wool and before on the bare wire it was just slipping around and now it's very similar to what i've just done with the beeswax farm it just grips and you have no problem covering this with um, wool now um, because it just does stay on there and um, and that's really good so then you can bend your wire afterwards once it's covered with wool so that's a really really good one to use um, on bare wire I have got a third solution and that is if you are using our lanolin rich core wool which I know I bang on about um, a lot but the lanolin rich core wool is almost like it's got that it's got the sticky beeswax balm in in the fiber already so there is the the natural it's been washed and it has um it's been cold washed so the the grease of the um sheep the oil stays in there which is the lanolin of course and that works also really well if you need to wrap um a bare wire it it just sticks to itself so it doesn't and the, and the the grease of the of the wool um stops the um wool from slipping around so you've got um a, a good wool here as well to use to wrap um your wires with as well and that works best on the bare wires but of course the lanolin rich is great on all kinds of wires because it instantly sort of it sticks to itself before you have even got to needle felt it if you need a solution of wrapping a wire up to build bulk really quick like i um like for example with brian the goose where i needed to build bulk up quickly then we i can highly recommend our dutch texel which um is cheap and cheerful and it's got a really long staple and it's quite lofty as well so you're not just creating a really flat um because you want to build bulk so you can use this and um, and wrap things up quite quickly and have the bounce still so that you can add layers over the top and needle felt into it so this is a great one for um, building up bulk quickly on a wire armature um, if you're going to try if you're going big basically so aluminium wire that's covered i think okay next um we have got um cotton wire um sorry copper wire this is what i said to emma earlier i'm gonna have a um have a, a knot in my tongue when i say cotton covered copper wire i can say it but i have to think about it but before i move on to that i'm just gonna have a quick chick quick check not a quick chick i'm not having a chick um what um people are up to uh dear okay um so there's all kinds of different makes of florist tape as well of course um and um oh alicia says she wants a photo with brian well you might be in with um i have i will tell you the story of brian as well um because it's quite a sweet story and um also of course if you're using the dutch texel you might have already used it in our um wreath projects um where we also do a wreath base where you actually cover the the wire the wreath um that's a made from wire the base itself in that wool so uh oh we're talking about brian oh you've got brian um brian the goose he's here i will show him to you as well he's also got that green garden wire in that we don't sell you have to go to a garden center for that um or maybe dismantle your neighbor's fence <laughs> that would be quite 
quite funny. And um, and the great thing about this is it is really, I mean, he must weigh, I would say, maybe two kilos. So he's, he's quite big. But I can bend his legs and, and um, I can bend his spine quite comfortably because the wire does definitely, sorry, Brian, definitely withholds that. And he looks very shaggy and I'm very sorry, but it's because he's been to so many shows. He gets manhandled a lot in and out of a van. Lots of people touch him and pat and pet him and want to take him home. So it's all right, Brian. Um, it's um, not Brian. It's uh, Reese the Fleece. You can go back in there. So um, Felix. Oh, oh yeah, Felix Big Noodle. I must say that none of these names um, were our invention, with the exception of Brian. And I will tell you his story. So I used to have a, um, a shop, as you know, and every year, um, in, it, it, you might even have heard of this uh, circus that um, has become bigger and bigger, but it's a very, it's sort of quite a very old fashioned family business and it's called Gifford Circus. We used to love it when, I mean, we still love it, but we haven't been able to go, obviously. And um, they had all kinds of animals in, in there doing little tricks and performances and they're all very domestic animals. So we're not talking about bears and elephants. Oof, don't want those poor things. But we're talking about geese and chickens and dogs and horses and um they were all kept really really well and they they're normally um on the non um circus months they are living all on the farm happily and there was brian the goose he was a performing circus goose and he sadly died he had a long life a long and happy life but he was very well known and he would sort of like proudly prance around um um in the intermissions as well and I asked whether I could make a portrait of a goose. Um, well, of Brian the goose, actually. And they they were very happy um, for me to do this. Um, the lucky thing about this is, once you know one goose, you know every goose. And if you own a goose and he's very special to you, then I do apologize. But I couldn't tell one goose from another goose apart, which worked in my favor. So making a portrait of a goose wasn't actually that hard because I could um, obviously um just make a goose and he had one very very distinct feature and i did capture that and that is that he has in one of his eyes to reach over to get him come on brian don't be shy now oh, see, he's got into a bit of a tangle with a flamingo in one of his eyes he had like a a bleeding eye no no that that sounds wrong but he had a bit of the black that was spilling out so i did do that so i, I got that right and um and then um he actually traveled with the circus for six weeks and he won himself a rosette which is somewhere but i haven't brought it on him at the moment but it's um so he was he was um traveling with the circus for six weeks so he is actually not just the portrait of a of a circus goose he is a traveling circus goose as well that's the story of um brian the goose uh, so let's move on to the cotton covered copper wire. I can say it. I can say it. So um, I'm going to mo move these out of the way so I don't get confused and bring the cotton covered copper back. And here we have three different sizes, starting with the smallest, which is the one millimeter. So remember, we also do a one millimeter in the aluminium one. And it is literally covered um, in cotton. So it has got, if you, you can undo it, look. And then you can see the, the copper is, um, um, you, can, uh, you can see the copper. Can you see it? There's the copper poking me in the eye. Um, and um, this, the reason why there is the, the cotton over the top is so that the wool doesn't slip. Well, for us, there might be other reasons, but that's, that's the reason what we think it is for. And um, it is it is the same. It feels the same bending it as the one millimeter. I'm just going to compare it now. So now it there's a bit more bite to it. Just a tiny bit more bite. Let's do the break test. Maybe do it on a. I'm just going to use this one. Let's see that. By the way, if you want to build bulk in general without using um, without using um, wire, then I think it depends what you're doing. I would say that the best wool for that is our basic core wool, and that's really, really, really. Um, oh, this is this feels actually quite unbreakable. I must say, I'm still bending it. It's definitely 
I can't even feel a weakness happening there. I think at the moment the copper wins here for pliability and stability and unbreakability. It, I, I, I'm still not breaking it. It, it doesn't even feel weak. It just, come on, I must be ah, there it goes now. Okay, I've managed now, and that is the um, the one millimeter wire. And I actually before I used the two millimeter in the aluminium and that broke way before this one. So I would say this definitely so far has won in terms of if you're do, if you're having to do lots of bending back and forth and back and forth and you want your animals to be able to um, be poseable all the time, then I would definitely say this cover cotton covered copper wire um, seems to be in the run up of um, of that competition. So we do the one millimeter. And then we do the, um, oh no, start with an even thinner one. We, all, we start already with a 0.5 millimeter. So that's, that's, um, that's the thinnest we do in terms of um, wires on the reel in general. So we haven't got that size in um, aluminium, nor do we have that in steel. So that's the thinnest wire we do. And then um, we do it in one millimeter and we do it in 1.5 millimeter. And the, I can definitely tell that the 1.5 millimeter is um, is a lot harder. Um, it, I can still use my fingers. It's not as bad as uh, you think it might be, but it is a lot harder to bend than um, even the two millimeter, millimeter aluminium. Now, if you have been doing our hair project, there he is, our leaping hair. If you're a subscriber, then you will have done it. Or maybe you've been to our retreat. You would have done a variety, a version of that hair as well. We have used that wire in the hair. And only today somebody messaged that and they said, oh, I'm not so sure this is quite hard to bend with your fingers. So this is not everybody's cup of tea. It is great for strength. That is the 1.5 millimeter copper wire covered in cotton. It's great for strength. But if you need to make something small and sometimes you have to go round corners, you know, because you're trying to, then I'm fine with that. But if I now, I've got a loop here like that. If I try and bend that with my fingers, I, I physically can't do that. And I have got fingers of steel. So then I would need my pliers to bend that in tight like that so that the loop becomes... Um, like bent together into a doubled up wire there. I do need my pliers for that. I can't do that. Whereas I can do this, I think, with the two millimeter um, aluminium wire. I can bend that so that it, uh, struggling actually. I might have to use pliers for that as well, but it is more possible than with, um, you can see I can get that loop slightly closer together than I did with um, the um, copper wire. So the copper is definitely a stronger wire. It's definitely less breakable if you jiggle and wriggle it and bend it back and forth. Um, it only comes in three sizes and the thickest is the 1.5 millimeter. Um, and um, it, it does, however, come in the smallest size of 0.5 millimeter. So if that is of interest to you, then um, that might be um, exciting. We have got, if you really like the hair and you want to make him, we have got the PDF um, for sale on, on our web shop as well. And we have got the pack for him. So if you, if you don't want to buy the bits and pieces, the wire is in there, instructions are in there. And all the wool to make the hair is in there as well. And um, the eyes as well, they're here. Um, and as you know, our packs, if they look like that, then they don't come with tools. So you will need your own felting needles and um, felting mat. Um, all our kits, if they're boxed in, in, in the craft boxes, then they have got tools as well. So that's how you can, that's how we distinguish between a pack and a kit. Pack, no tools, kit, tools included. So um, I just want want to um, remind everybody, if you are still up for doing our Celebrity Mice competition, this runs from or has been running from the 1st of August until the 31st of August 2020. If you're watching sometime in the future, um, and of course that's your presence, then we are not doing this anymore. It has to be within this uh, period of time. And all you need to do is make a mouse. 
something like that. Make it look like a celebrity of your choice. It can be, and I will just blend in the um, the little um, screen that I've got here that I didn't even know I had, um, but I will just blend this in. So you can tweet it, tweet your finished picture of the mouse directly to Twitter, obviously, and tag it um, with hashtag Makers Mice, or um, 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 tag us as well at the Makers with double S. And then obviously tag your celebrity because what you want is you want it to get retweeted as often as you can. If you are not on Twitter and you really don't know how to do this, then just send it to us either by email or um, send us it by uh, any messaging type that we actually check. Um, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, Check, send it to us and then we retweet it for you. One thing I will say, I would really like to keep this um, as un political as possible so um, we, we are really a nice bunch of people we don't judge anybody um, on on their whatever political orientation and and so we don't we we want to keep it unpolitical if possible I don't I won't say any anything else about this but there are so many celebrities out there who would probably feel quite flattered if they knew that you'd made a nice looking mouse um, who would be really keen to retweet it and if you've already tweeted your mouse and um, you can tweet it again you have lots of opportunities to enter your count of the retweets obviously will start again but sometimes the tweet does better if you just change something you just it's just the timing of it maybe somebody needs to see it twice to retweet, retweet it so just to change it slightly give the mouse something else in the hand or add something else to it and just retweet it again and uh, you you will be it will the the one with the highest retweets will win themselves a 50 pound gift voucher from the makers okay so let's moving on to the last and final wire type that we do which is the um the steel wire and it is very well contained with these little um plastic clips so when you get it and you cut this open it goes ping and that is one of the um, advantages, if you like, or disadvantages of the steel. It is really, really strong and it's not easy. It doesn't like being bent. OK, so um, we've got the 1.25 and the one millimeter wire. I'm actually going to have to open one of the. So I'm, I've got it here in the back, but it's, this is how it comes. But as soon as I open it up, it will like just, you know, come open and it is the same cotton cover as on the copper wire um, so you can undo it here as well just show you the bare wire um, it's actually got several layers of copper um, of um, what's it called cotton on there and then you can see the steel underneath and and you can actually see already a slight discoloration that's what I was talking about how it it can get rusty so you can see that it's sort of a slight orange tinge to it it doesn't do any harm whatsoever because there are several layers and um, it it can be bent and this is really this is not just hard to bend you can bend it but there's always a little bit of a hmm, unwillingness to stay how you want me to be bent so it's an unwilling wire but it's very strong now remember the flamingo legs I showed you I tripled um, is it this one? Yeah, I tripled the 1.25 millimeter up. So three times I've wrapped it around um, itself. Um, so I've twisted it basically into a three ply wire and it's and the neck of the flamingo is made like this and the legs and it, there's no stability in it. So it's it is a strong wire, but it's not that thick. And um, it you can bend it you have to really i mean this might be already a push now for somebody who's got problems with their hands and mobility this might be a push to bend it and you really do need quite strong fingers because if there's a bounce back there's a bit of elastic elasticity in this wire to um to 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 stay the way you want it to stay so you almost have to over bend it for it to stay in that position whereas with the copper and with the aluminium you bend it and that's where it stays so um, that's the steel wire. Um, what else have we used this in? I, I can't um, think right now what it was, but I, I do know that I wish I had used it in chicken legs when we did a, a giant chicken workshop a couple of years ago, where I used the copper wire and it wasn't quite strong enough. So that steel wire would have been 
definitely a better solution to that. And if you're doing larger animals, but maybe not quite as big and with gangly legs and, and um, necks um, as I have, then this is probably a good wire to use um, with that. And like I said, it comes in 1.25 millimeter and it comes in um, in the uh, size below, which is the, oh, I haven't done the wriggle test, have I? Let's try it on the thicker one. Let's do, let's cut a bit off. Oh, there might be a length in there because I'm just going to cut a bit off. I probably need to use the more industrial wire cutters as well. Yeah, this is like cutting that is also hard. I'm just going to use the poxy little uh, pliers and see what happens. Oh, they, they do work if you, um, yeah, they do work. Now I'm going to do the wriggle test. This might break my finger see how you can tell it is really hard to even wriggle it so I might it might bring break my fingers before I break the wire but I will try to see if it how long I've got it oh it is broken okay right copper wire still wins in terms of um dur in 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 terms of unbreakability the steel wire will break um if you jiggle it and wriggle it if you can if you can jiggle it and wriggle it then it will break quicker I would say it's about on the same par as the aluminium so the copper wins I feel the copper wins all around so um it's got the cover on already if you want to wrap it with wool it's got um it's got the bite so you can bend it so I would say for any creatures that um, you're doing that are sort of maybe that size and smaller I would go for the copper wire anything bigger you might you might struggle and um, the only one that I haven't mentioned is this green stem wire, which personally I really love. Um, I love it because this is absolutely rock solid. It's really hard to bend this. This is an 18 gauge, which basically um, in terms of um, 18, or oh, we've got, so it's the same gauge as the, the cotton covered copper wire, one millimeter. So it's a one millimeter wire and um, I've got some open. I swear I had some open somewhere. Oh, I haven't. I ha oh, no, I have to show you that. Oh, there's some open here. Let's try this one. I've taped it up very kindly. Okay. Sorry, I will get in there. I like this because this is really great because it's dead straight okay it doesn't come on a reel so it's really great and if you've done our phone you will know what I've used this for it's a really great wire to use for shaping legs we have got a tutorial for this on our um, YouTube um, channel if you um, if you haven't seen it that reminds me give us the thumbs up on YouTube okay the more thumbs up you give us the, the more you'll see of us and of course you all want to see lots of us and um, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet subscribe to our channel then you get notifications of all of our new tutorials we've got really exciting ones coming up and um, yes and just just help us to grow come on guys you know what is it to you one thumbs up and share share um, um, the channel with other people as well don't keep it a secret be nice so the green wire is dead straight it's really hard to um you know to bend which also means that you can use it to wrap wool around it and slip the wool off and you've got a nice solid shape um we did this with our fawn um in the subscription box so you wrap the wool around it i just give it a very quick demo wrap the wool around it and make it nice and tight so you're actually using the wire as a as a tool rather than the wire itself being um there for strength and um and um you meant to tease this out a lot more I'm, I'm rushing here now and then um you can also use it to strengthen um your um felt so we've also used it on the highland cow it, it i don't even want to call it um um a wire armature what we used it there for we just used one for the spine and then again one for one set of legs and one for the other so you can make wrap it around it and then you can just slip it off and you've got a nice solid shape there already that just needs to be needle felted a little bit more and um and the wire is unscathed so we used it in the phone for support for the neck here 
so the neck is has got a bit of wire just stuck between the head and the body we used it to make the legs um, in the way that I've just shown you and it is actually part of the Highland cow as in it's got the um, it's got the spine in there you can't see it because it's completely covered but also the legs and they're nice and solid and it, it stands really solidly we also use wire um, to model um, little silk clay uh, noses or beaks or anything like that you might not want to use the thick green wire depending on the size of your make so you could be using the aluminium wire um, where you just put a loop at the end we have a tutorial for that on our website as well so you can look that up and the silk clay um, it comes in four different colors in white pink brown and black so you can make different noses and different shapes and this is very similar to what has happened here with the highland cow except that was glued straight onto him but you can make beaks for um, birds and you can make noses and paws and all kinds of things so the the paws here they're not paws they're hoofs they're at the end of the wire there as well put onto the wire and um what else do i need to tell you this there are other things i need to tell you i know i know i know i know i'm just getting building myself up to it so basically remember the wire bird tutorial this uh, this wire leg has been created from the um 1.5 millimeter copper wire covered in in um cotton obviously and that was used to make bird legs like this on the robin big robin if you want to make a big robin for christmas and um, wrapped with florist tape there you go okay and um so that remember that bird leg tutorial is already available as a free tutorial on our website but if you are getting our newsletters in your orders and um, also electronically you can always sign up for our newsletters hop onto our website it's as, it's as easy as anything just put your email address down and we'll um, send you the newsletter there, there's usually not terribly many so we're not bombard you we're not one of those people who you get a newsletter from every other day it's usually just once a month but they're always worth having because you get free tutorials you get um, up-to-date news on new products and um, sometimes we sneak a discount code in there as well so um that's oh yes we've got two more wires these are like uh, really really fine wires um if you have watched the mole tutorial then you will know that we've made um the mole tutorial was actually an exclusive tutorial for those who have paid for it it was through the creative craft um shows and um so one day we'll repeat it for everybody of course but you can make little glasses out of these wires um or whatever else you fancy doing like they could be balloon um stems so if you want the balloon to stay up in the air they're really useful to have and they're just in two colors at the moment in gold and in black and i do have somewhere oh there's the spider i can see somewhere i've got mice and glasses oh yeah there we are so all of the mice there they're all um, packed away in one of our handy storage boxes here um, so you can make in fact these are sunglasses because it's summer right now so you can make glasses and we have got a tutorial of how to make glasses from this wire as well on our website but you can also buy the wire and um, it's quite addictive to make those um, glasses so I'm just gonna have a look at some of the um, comments now because it's coming up to the end of this particular um, live stream uh, let's see if there's anything else that I need to know oh Helen is gonna miss Thursday because she's having her hair cut oh you're dreading it I thought lots of people would be delighted to have their hair cut um, wonder why you're dreading it spiders have too many legs yeah yes that's right they've got they've got eight too many and um oh there's so, so many horrible spider jokes out i remember them as a child um where they um one of them was what do you call a spider without legs and they said it's a current and for for absolutely ages and ages i couldn't eat a current bun or anything with raisins in it it just i would i would be like what oh, it looks like a spider with no legs <laughs> so horrible 
Oh, and Emma says I used to be petrified of spiders, especially those hairy ones that come inside in autumn. But then I lived in Thailand. Oh, no, no, don't take me to other countries now. This is the spider I'm eyeing up at the moment. Um, we're making this kind of spider on Thursday. So um, don't be afraid. Definitely, I am really, really not happy about spiders, but this one is fine um, for me anyway. Uh, oh, so... Um, I used to get huntsmen in my bag. I don't even want to look up what they look like. It, it's definitely not um, something I need to know. Um, Diane says, didn't realise you had a hand pack. Handy. Oh, nice pun there. I um, think I will have to order it. Yeah, I think the hand pack is a really good one. Because if you are joining us um, to our live tutorials to make wizard or a witch, then got a price label on there or what is that i don't know a sticky label that she found somewhere then this hand um tutorial comes in quite handy haha <laughs> i'm using your pun now um you don't have to use these hands to make them you can make the simplified simpler hands which is the which is the thumbs um as as we do them on the gnomes but they are really really quite um hand well say handy again here they're really quite good to give them these hands and um, and that will be part potentially of, of the tutorial. Um, if you want to make these hands, you can do them beforehand. I will be um, mainly demonstrating how to do a, a more simple, um, sort of like a mitten look hand um, style hand. Um, what else? I'm, I'm going all over with these comments, so I do, I do apologize. Um, everybody loves Brian. You can actually watch how he's been made. I think Emma shared the link. Um, and he does, doesn't look like a goose at all to start with. Um, okay, I don't want to overrun loads of times. I'm, I, so I'm kind of... Um, does the aluminium wire break after lots of bending? I demonstrated that. The aluminium wire is, is not so good. The aluminium and the steel wire will both break, um, and including the pipe cleaners. But it's the copper wire that you all need to get now because it's amazing. Um, so, um, was there a question somewhere if we stock black felt? We don't have black felt at the moment. But um, the thing I need to also say about black is that black is, is a colour that doesn't ever seem to exist in my life. And I think Sophie is the same. So we never think about black. It's like, it's always an afterthought. It always has been with me because I'm such a colourful person. So um, we don't have black felt, I hate to admit right now, but maybe we should get it. Um, so great oh yes so it's thumbs up under the video I think that's where you need to do the thumbs um, nowhere else it's under the video thank you for reminding me um, when you don't watch yourself on YouTube you don't you don't you I, I don't actually know where the thumbs are but it's under the under the um, video I need to sneeze now <coughs> excuse me Oh yes, um, just another thing, I've got this, this leg kicking around here. This is also a way of um, making the leg look quite real with the beeswax balm. Just pile it on afterwards. So this is after you've made the covered it with wool. Um, I think I've remembered everything. Um, <coughs> excuse me, good another sneeze coming. How do you stop yourself from sneezing in a live stream? I've no idea. And um, and if anybody says bless you, I'm not allowed to say thank you because the fairy dies if you say that. So um, I'm not being rude. I just not, not don't want to kill a fairy. Anyway, I think that's it from me today. You've all had me on just one big screen. Um, I haven't done anything close up um, other than reaching over to you. I hope that um, that was useful for those who um, have never used wire, but equally for those who are already using um, wire and it's a good question when is the um, witch and wizard um, tutorial and I do know that because it's um, it's it's um, yes I do know it but I've forgotten Emma help us out um, um, and and maybe Emma can even let me know so I can tell while I'm here on um, live um, I could, I suppose I could look it up as well. So just bear with me. I just want to say it's in, in um, it's soon. It's next month. I think it's next month in September. 
because we need to have it ready for October Halloween. That's it. It's next month. It's three parts. So you, you will be watching all the stages and you can get um, all the materials um, to do the witch. We've um, And of course, we've also got a new format coming in September. So basically, that means that um, the new format, I will just explain that quickly, is that uh, we bring our live stream forward to 1 p.m. On a Tuesday we only do one a week and then we repeat it on Thursday at 7 p.m. via Facebook we haven't got a faintest idea how we're gonna do that but we will do it we'll work it out so uh, you get one live stream a week on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Um, that is not starting on the 1st of September I don't think oh yes it will because that's the unboxing of the makers boxes so we're starting on the 1st of September which is also the first Tuesday in that month um, and then after that, I think it's three weeks of witch, witch and wizards, um, or either, either or both, whatever you fancy doing. Um, so that's all in 2020, if you're watching this at any time in the future, of course. That's all from me now. I will say goodbye now. We'll, we'll let you all know about the details, so don't think that you um, get away from us that easily. And it's been really lovely to be here and talk about wire because it is an exciting su subject, obviously. And um, I hope that um, it helps you making more wire creations or um, enhances what you're already doing. And if you've got any useful tips or if you've got extras to add to what I've been saying, then show us what you've made. If you've got, we are really keen to hear your wire tips, especially if you've used our product. Remember, everyone a maker um, on Facebook. That's a, one of the places where you can um, share anything with us. We're also on Instagram and we have got a, a happy place forum on our website. If you don't do any of those social media sites, you can join us directly on our website. I will say goodbye for now and I see you all in a couple of days time. It's that soon. Um, some of you can't make it, but maybe you can catch up um, with, with all of this later on. Thank you again very much for supporting us. We're always really, really pleased that we've got you all on board and um, take care everybody. Bye bye.